Okay, today I'm gonna to test my uh, Apex uh, with KDX Vista with the Betaflight 4.3 full release. Uh, I, in fact, I did try it already, but uh, it, it wasn't very good because the filter was too much and there was too much latency, so there was a prop wash. So right now, I'm, there's nothing changed. Only thing that Betaflight 4.3 full release is installed. So let's go freestyle.
Okay, right now let's do a post-flight analysis on this quad. Well, this quad actually was with EMU Flight 0.04.0 for a long time. I didn't want to upgrade it to beta flight when it was still a, a release candidate. So I waited for it to be full release and finally I managed to update EMU Flight 0.40 with beta flight 4.3.0 and try it out. Because Immune Flight was flying pretty well at that time and I didn't want to disturb the, my enjoyment of this quad. So right now, what did I change? Okay, so for this quad, I put in beta flight 4.3.0 uh, default uh, uh, with the Superfly 5-inch preset. Okay, and um, the Superfly 5-inch preset, you have to select RPM filter on a 6S with HD camera. So this is exactly what it is with 6S battery and HD camera and I'm using RPM filters. So this is uh, the settings for the default and there are there is no dynamic uh, idle setting here. It's zero. So it, uh, as you can see uh, for the profile dependent filter which is uh, set by the Superfly 5 inch preset, uh, this is the setting. And for the profile independent filter, uh, it is this is the default. Okay, so I was flying with this, and uh, you could see the flight now. And listen carefully to the prop wash as it is the, the quad descends from a split S. Okay, here is the video for you to have a look. Okay, so now these are the new settings that I have done, uh, um, changed from the Superfly presets. So as you can see, uh, it is quite a major change. In fact, I actually got this tuned from my analog version uh, quad for this uh, Apex frame. And the analog was flying, analog quad was flying pretty well, so I just really copied over the basically copy over the pits from there and that one was already flying beta flight 4.3.0 so I use the same setting so basically you can see the difference here is that uh, in the um, tracking okay you can see I nudge down slightly and for the uh, stick response I up all the way to 1.3 you can see my my feet forward is pretty high and also for the, um, especially for the uh, pitch damping, because this is uh, it's not a symmetrical quad, so for the pitch you can see it's shorter. So therefore I move, move up the pitch uh, damping slightly higher. Um, also for the uh, pitch tracking, I nudge up slightly only. And basically the whole multiply is all the way up to 1.5, so it's pretty aggressive. Um, you can see that the D term, uh, the D is D max is all all the way zero, uh, the same as the derivative. And with this uh, setting, the dynamic idle is now set to twenty. Okay, this is recommended uh, in one of Chris Ross's uh, video. So for different uh, size quad, we have uh, this. Uh, uh, value differently. So I basically I just use what he has recommended. So for my 5 inch quad is 20. For a 3 inch I'm using 35. And also specifically this for anti-gravity gain I up it to 8 instead of the default. So these are the changes. And for the filters itself you can see I enable the um, D-term multiplier by basically just uh, turning on the switch on the right to on and then I can slide the increase the slider to 1.4 uh, okay for this quad because it's a quite a clean build uh, I disable the gyro low pass 1 and low, low pass 2 and it is still okay the motors are not hot it's just warm only and then for the harmonic number I put it to 3 instead of 1 
and I did change for the profile independent filter, the notch count to 4, the Q to 300, minimum frequency to 125, and maximum frequency to 650 Hz. And for the profile dependent uh, um, filter setting for the yaw, I uh, disable the yaw low pass filter. So basically that's the, the, those are the changes. And what you saw on the flight today is uh, exactly these changes. Okay, good. Do subscribe and uh, give, you, give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends uh, as well. Okay, good. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.